the second thing, the second key thing that we need to consider when we're talking about gas exchange in fish is physically the structure of the gills and how the gills give an increased surface area to volume ratio. Right, a few key things to think about then. So we'll have a run through of what happens. So to start off with, the rows of gill filaments, so these are gill filaments here, have many protrusions called lamella, right? Second thing, so gills have a number of folds in them as well, which increase the surface area, therefore increasing the area where gas exchange between the water and the blood can take place. The third key thing is that um, always remember, whenever we're talking about gas exchange as well, moist surfaces will increase gas exchange. It doesn't matter whether you're talking about the inside of the lungs or in water. So the next key thing is the folds are kept supported and moist by the water that is continuously pumped through the gills. So we previously spoke about that, about how water is moved through the fish. The next key thing to think about is that within the gills there is a good blood supply that good blood supply is going to help maintain the concentration gradient so the concentration of oxygen inside of the blood is always going to be lower than the concentration of oxygen in the water something else is that we can see here the the gill lamella the outside is only really one cell thick so that means that there is a relatively short diffusion distance remember whenever we're referring to diffusion always talk about short diffusion distances as increasing the rate of diffusion so generally we can talk about the fish also having an efficient transport system within the lamella which maintains the concentration gradient across the lamella so oxygen is always going to move into them and that is created by something called counter current flow so the arrangement of water flow past the gills is in the opposite direction to the direction of the blood so therefore it's going counter current to each other so the concentration of oxygen in the water will always be higher than that in the blood.